Let's make some low poly spirals. Add a cylinder. Under the cylinder primitive tab, change the topology setting. When the X division is low, we have fewer threads going up the spiral. The one on the left has a smaller X equals 12, and you can see there are fewer threads going up. If you uncheck constant density, you can adjust the division Y. A higher division Y, such as on the right, means that it will spiral more. After setting the X and Y, adjust the primitive and validate when done. In the decimate UV tab, under decimation, change the target triangles to 100%. Then click decimate. Now all the quads will be divided into triangles, and we can take advantage of this for the spiral. Next, I'll mask out the spiral using radial symmetry. Since my X division was set to 12, I'll turn the radial symmetry to 6, that way it will skip every other vertex. With the mask tool, I will mask up along the diagonal. When you're done, with the gizmo, scale outwards along the green cone. Because the shape is relatively low poly, when you switch to smooth shading and clear the mask, you might notice that the ridges are not very well defined. Let's undo to bring back the mask, and subdivide once with multi-red. The original mask is now blurry, so let's sharpen it a few times. Now we can scale up again with gizmo. You can even invert the mask and scale the crevices inwards to have it more defined. And now we have a spiral on a cylinder. The concept is the same for a sphere. Start with a UV sphere because it has longitude and latitude lines, and adjust the division X and Y as you desire. Decimate to turn the quads into triangles. With the mask tool, we can start masking out the spiral. Now let's try something slightly different. Before, when the X division was 12, I set the radial symmetry to 6, that way we would skip every other vertex. This time, I want to space them out even more, so I will set the radial Y to 4 instead. As you can see, the spirals are more spread out. In fact, any smaller factor of 12 should work. Now instead of scaling outwards, if we wanted the spirals to be more sharp, we could scale inwards. Then we can turn on smooth shading, subdivide once, and sharpen the mask a few times to prepare for scaling. Note that with spheres, it's common that after sharpening, the mask gets a little bit messy near the top. So with the mask tool, switching on unmask, clean up the extra vertices near the top and the bottom. And now we're ready to scale with the gizmo once again. And here's the final result. So we've shown this on a sphere and cylinder, but you can also apply this to other base shapes, such as a teardrop shape.